Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for January 25th of 2023 well, it is titled LDN 1622, the Boogeyman Nebula. So what do we see here? Well, here we see an example of a dark nebula, perhaps in the shape of the mythical Boogeyman. And that is a dark nebula is a dark, dusty region and is a region of star formation. Now this is part of the Orion complex, which is a very large star forming region and one of the closest star forming regions to our own Earth. And it's still not close, it's still 1500 light years away, meaning of course that we see it not as it is today, but as it was 1500 years ago. Now star formation takes a lot more than 1500 years. So there likely have been little change to this uh, over that period of time. However, the dark dusty areas are still in the process of collapsing to form stars. So new stars are still in the process of formation and will continue that over tens and hundreds of thousands of years. Now we see the dark nebula here, but we also see some emission nebula the dark the red glow from hydrogen gas which when excited by hot stars will glow and give off a distinct red color so when gases are excited they give off a distinct color associated with that specific element that makes them up so in many cases in the universe we see hydrogen gas and when it and being the most common element in the universe and when excited gives off red light although we're also have seen recently within our own atmosphere when we see the aurora we see a distinct green light due to oxygen so both of these the dark nebula and the uh, emission nebula are both signs of star formation now we can see some less dense dusty areas stretching down tendrils stretching down to the bottom and those we can actually see through. So the dust there is not quite as dense as it is in the dark dusty areas. But there is some dust there and the dust actually does two things to the light passing through it. It makes that appear fainter. So it'll make the stars that are passing starlight passing through the dust makes it appear fainter than it otherwise would be which would make us think that the stars are further away if we don't take the dust into account. It will also redden the light of the stars. That's because it preferentially scatters the blue light. So when we look right around the edges of some of these nebula, you'll see some deep red stars, not necessarily because they are truly red stars, although some of them may be, but because the dust is much better at scattering out the blue light, leaving the red light to come straight through. And that's why studying a lot of this is done in the infrared. And this is part of an image about from the Spitzer Space Telescope, which looks at the universe in the infrared part of the spectrum, longer wavelengths than the visible light that we normally can see. So that was our picture of the day for January 25th of 2023. It was titled LDN 1622, the Boogeyman Nebula. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be wild and crazy. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.